Hi, good morning. I am uh, giving reflection for November 6th. Uh, it is about family, family life that how is very precious for us to be protected and taken care in the family. Family is the cell of the society, as I have said earlier. And again, how we can build our families. So I'm thinking about that family. Uh, I will speak about the sacrament of matrimony, that how precious the union of man and woman, then a family begins. That is what God has given to us to become a new family. Just I was wondering today, uh, those people who do not know about God, how they get united and how they survive and they do make the family. So according to natural law, they do their natural way. But as Catholics, we have been privileged to have the sacrament, the sign and witness that we give through our lives and the family get together. And that is the way we come together to cherish the life what God has given to us in his wisdom. And husband and wife make a family, then sons and daughters. And then they become a big tree, many sons and daughters, grandsons and daughters. And how wonderful that we human beings can live as a family. So it is a precious gift. So how we want to preserve that. So during my formation, I was given chance to go to a parishes and it was, I remember in 1990, I was asked to give uh, a marriage class for couples. And I was thinking, what should I give for them? Who I am to give to them anything? But yes, God's way of working he taught me something that I can teach them, but certainly at that time I could not do much. But today, after coming here, now I realize that yes, certainly the marriage classes which we do, that strengthens us. Like focus couple here, Dick and Jim, and uh, the couple, they do together to prepare the couples, young couples. And yes, how amazing that they know each other they come prepare themselves so that they can build beautiful families they will understand the wisdom of god and yes they will make the commitment so always in the marriage to build a family we need these virtues especially the sacrificial love the sacrificial love for one another mutual love and mutual respect for one another in a marriage which is not easy, very difficult, but yes, that is what we need each and every time we grow in our vocation of matrimony, vocation that we begin on that day, and then we build the family. Then again, if we think about the family, how it, it can be built more is our commitment, that the commitment which we do to be husband and wife for one another. So that is what we needed, the honest, faithful commitment to one another. And then again, how ha we have obedience to one another, how do we obey each other very well? Then only the family becomes wonderful family to support one another. Otherwise, yes, we can be separated. The family can be broken easily. These days in the media and other culture always it breaks the family very easy. That's why we have so many things happens, husband and wife, sometimes you cannot come along and many things happens and then it affects the society, it affects the family, it affects the sons and daughters, grandsons, sons and daughters and it is very difficult. So how wonderful that we go through those focus classes so that we can have the commitment, honesty, faithfulness, mutual love and respect and sacrificial love. So let us ponder the beautiful virtues that God has given us in the sacrament of matrimony so that we can build our families wonderfully. May God bless each and every family and all those who are married couples that they will be strengthened and they will build the family of God, family, the kingdom of God after all. May God bless each and every families and yes, Lord protect us with his wisdom. Amen.